In this video, we're going to see how easy it is to set up our local computer as a development environment for WordPress. We're then going to take a look at how we can take that fully featured website and push that up onto an actual live server. So once you've designed your site, you can make it live. And the best thing about all this is it's all completely free tools. No pennies have to be spent. Let's take a look at what we're going to use. So first up, to set up a computer up as a local development environment for WordPress, we're going to be using the free WordPress Studio. This is developed by WordPress themselves, so we know this is going to work flawlessly with WordPress. So all you're going to need to do is download this either for Windows or for Mac, whichever operating system you're using. Once you've done that, simply install it and run it, and we are then ready to go. So once you run it, this is what you're going to be presented with. This is where we can start to create our WordPress website. Let's click on Add a Site. Now we can choose whether we want to create a site, start from a blueprint, or import a backup. Now for this example, we're going to start with a completely clean slate. But you can choose whichever option suits you best. We'll choose to create a site. We're going to give this a name. You can open up the advanced settings and inside you, you can tweak a few of the things that are going on. So you can choose if you want a different location to store the files on your local computer. And you can also choose what PHP version you want to run and what version of WordPress you want to run. You can also choose a custom domain here, but because we're just using this for development, we don't really need to worry about that. So once we're happy, we'll click on Add Site. That will then take a few moments and create a clean copy of WordPress ready for us to start building. So after a few moments, this is now our development environment for this site. You can see down the left-hand side, this will show us any or all of the sites that we currently have installed, and it'll also tell us which ones are running. You can see the little green dot, so it tells us this is currently active and running, so we can use this like a normal WordPress copy. Then we've got some options inside the main area. You've got a preview, so you can open up your site from here, open up a new tab. The sync previews and the import and export are more kind of geared towards WordPress.com, which is not what we want to focus on. So we're going to bypass those completely. Jump into your settings, and inside here you can see there's the various different settings specific to this copy of WordPress. So the site name, the local URL, HTTPS status, and so on. You'll also notice we've got the admin login details. Inside here you'll notice that by default this uses the admin username, which is a really bad thing. So I would recommend you change that at the first opportunity, especially when you push this to a live site. If you jump back into the overview inside here, if you're working with the full site editor in WordPress, you can see we can immediately jump into things like the site editor, the style section, patterns, and so on. The finder will show you the files on your local computer. And if you want to open up the terminal to do terminal commands, you could do that inside here as well. So we've got everything set up and running. We've got a clean copy of WordPress. So we've done our design side of things. Now we're ready to push this live. How do we do that? Well, again, we're going to be using completely free software. So what we're going to do is let's go and jump into the actual dashboard of this WordPress website. So there we go. We've got a clean copy of WordPress. So we've designed our overall site and we're ready to go live. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to jump into plugins first of all and add a new plugin. And from here, we're going to simply come in and search for WP Vivid. We'll install this and activate it. And we're now ready to create a backup of this site. So we're going to push this over now to a live server. For this example, I'm using xCloud, which is the platform that I use to host my websites. But you can use any platform. It doesn't matter. As long as you can install WordPress on there, you can follow along exactly what I'm going to do here. So I've already installed a fresh blank copy of WordPress on my hosting panel in xCloud. So this is our destination site. And I've set this up to be this horrible red color so you can immediately see the difference between the source and the destination locations. So you can see I've already installed WP Vivid Backup inside here as well. So you have a copy on both the source, which is on WordPress Studio, and our destination, which is on our xCloud platform. OK, so we're ready now to migrate our site from our local copy in WordPress Studio over to our live site. So we're going to come back into our dashboard, into WP Vivid Backup and Backup and Restore, and we're going to choose the Auto Migration tab. Now, the first thing this does is ask us for a key. So where do we find that key? Well, let's just jump over now into our destination. And inside WP Vivid Backup inside here, we're going to come over to the Key tab. And inside here, we can generate a custom unique key. This key will basically connect our source and our destination together. So we're going to say this will expire in two hours, which gives us plenty of time to handle the migration. And once that two hour window is gone, that connection will no longer be valid. So any security issues you have there will be mitigated. So we'll say generate, and that will create this unique code for us. We're going to select it and copy it, head back over into our source, and we're going to paste that inside here. We'll click Save, 
and that connection now has been made. You can see this shows us the connection and where it will transfer from, which is our local host, and where it's going to go to, which is the temporary domain that I've got in xCloud. And we're going to say we want the database and files. We want everything to be transferred over, clone then transfer, then it's going to do the clone and transfer. And what that's effectively going to do is two different parts. It's going to take an identical copy, in this case, of the database and all of the WordPress files, save that inside our WordPress Studio install. It will then transfer those over to our xCloud, which is our destination, where we're going to host our live website. And then the final part is we will just then need to go and reinstall those and have our identical copy migrated over to our live server. So now this is finished on our clone and transfer side of things. Now let's just jump over into our destination. And inside here, we're going to come over into the backup and restore. And you see nothing shows up down here. All we need to do is click scan uploaded. And you'll see there's our new file. You can see it's a received backup. The date type is migration, the log files and anything else we need. All we need to do now is click restore, choose the restore option from here and then confirm using the restore dialog box. That's now going to unpack all those files, replace the database, replace all the files with our original website from our studio, WordPress Studio, with that final version up on our cloud hosting platform. This will take a few moments, depending upon the size of the website. And once that's finished, we'll take a look. There we go. After a few moments, restore completed successfully. We'll choose OK. That will log us out now because any of the credentials we had on our original sort of hosting plan have been replaced with what we had right back at the beginning when we set up our site inside WordPress Studio. So let's log in. And as you can see now, instead of that horrible red setup, we've got the new site up on here. We've got WPTAT's migration test. So we now have our identical copy live on our cloud server. Everything has been created offline using WordPress Studio, migrated over by using WP Backup, and then making that live on our hosting platform. So our site is now ready to carry on working. Pretty cool, and as you've seen, not very complicated at all. And the best part is all totally free. So if you want to build offline and then deploy it live, you can see how easy it is to do it. If you any comments, questions, or feedback, drop those in the comment section down below. All applicable links are in the description. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.